you know, we were hoping to show you long lines of people rushing to grab the newest Super Bowl championship uh, Eagles gear, Sheba. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that didn't happen today, of course. Um, but the entire city is left with a sour taste this Sunday evening. We want to get out to Eddie Kadem right now. He's following more on that. Yeah, Sheba, I'm outside of the Dick Sporting Goods here in Mount Laurel. We were hoping for an exciting line of people ready to grab that championship gear. Instead, I'm standing in front of a dark and very sad Dick Sporting Goods right now. And it started out as a frustrating day for a lot of people in Fishtown and Kensington as the cable and the Internet was out for several hours up until right before kickoff for many people. Things were looking good for the birds early on, and the fans in Fishtown were just happy they could watch the game at their hometown bar as internet and cable was down until just before kickoff. We were trying to look up stats for the game before, and no, yeah, we didn't get anything. Around 1 p.m., Comcast went out in areas of Fishtown and Kensington, and a spokesperson says somebody vandalized fiber optic cable and caused the outage. Fans and business owners were scrambling for backup plans to watch the game. A lot of came about but I mean we've been dealt the impossible car we come above that so we had backup plans some of them didn't come in right away thankfully Comcast was able to restore service just in time national anthem we had it back on national anthem. yeah so a lot of people left but we had like free pizza we had a whole thing planned out but it still worked out but it definitely hit us a little bit but we, we adjust come on people messing with the fiber octa cables when the Eagles are in the Super Bowl what are you doing? Let's get it together. Guys, spec to you. I mean, that's just such a crazy story, Eddie. But all is well. Everybody got to watch the game in the end. Yeah. Thank you so much.